Hello everybody, Eric Ottinger once again. I am a licensed clinical addiction specialist, a licensed professional counselor, a clinical trainer, and a mindfulness meditation teacher. Still working our way through this introductory set of videos. This one is going to focus on cognitive behavioral therapy. So as you think about engaging in some therapy services, it's very important to be able to differentiate one type of service provider from another and to be able to understand how they operate and why they operate in that way and how they've been trained and what their background is and as I have been uh, working now with people in various treatment settings over the past nine years in the Charlotte area there is a uh, a common thing that happens is that many many people who are masters level trained clinicians who do a bulk of the work they go through treatment programs where they are taught basic counseling skills, and these are very, very important and very, very powerful, to do what is commonly called uh, supportive listening. Supportive listening is uh, designed to create a safe space, to be heard, to be able to explore things, to feel like you're not being judged or condemned or criticized, and, and in that kind of environment that certain things could unfold along with the protections of confidentiality that could not happen in other types of uh, conversations with other folks. And this is absolutely true and this is absolutely a very powerful part of therapy. Uh, what I have also found though is for many people who are going to a treatment center or who are struggling with addiction is um, it's a very good fit for them to work with somebody who is much more structured and planned in the type of work that they do and interventions that they are able to apply and that uh, cognitive behavioral therapy generally means that it is skill-based, it is learning-based, it is uh, much more likely to have a structure within every treatment setting itself so that there is a plan, that there are targets within the treatment session, and it's much more easy then for both the therapist and the person receiving the services to understand if or not progress is being made and how to adjust accordingly. So what does this mean for you? It means that if in the past you have been frustrated with therapy services or you feel that You've tried this and it really seems like all the person is doing is kind of listening and nodding and doing a whole lot of this. Well, that's really uh, not uncommon at all. And there are really uh, a lot of therapists that will work that way indefinitely for as long as you're willing to show up and pay the money to do that. Um, I've really been trained in a way that my mentors I guess his tagline would be this, it's, it's our job to help people get better faster and to utilize the evidence-based practices that are out there. And so that's exactly what I am looking to do. And if you're interested in doing that, then again, that's the purpose of videos like this. There are many, many types of therapy. Um, I am not the therapist for everybody. Uh, I am certainly wanting to help you move along, get better, faster, do work with you so you can see significant and noticeable change. And so if you're interested in that, then check out the website, send me an email or give me a call.